I'm going to share seven ways that you can improve your body image over 40 when wearing a swimsuit this summer. We're also going to dive into why it's important and how you can do it. Come join me. Welcome to the Midlife Style School, the podcast for women who want to elevate their personal style and life by design. I'm your hostess, Afton Porter, certified life coach and fashion stylist, known as the chief image creator, helping high profile women polish their image with standout style in their industry. Through our conversations and insight, I'll provide simple tricks and practices that will help take the stress out of getting dressed in the morning so you can start each day feeling empowered, confident, and ready to take on whatever comes your way. Let's go. Hi, how are you? Last weekend was my daughter's wedding and it was nearly perfect. The only thing that could have used some improvement was the cake frosting was not what it was supposed to be, but literally everything else went smooth. We had everything we needed. Everything was the right time and beautiful. So thank you for all the congratulations and the comments on Facebook and the messages and emails and all the things. So appreciate you so much. I do want to let you know, though, I'm going to be in England and Paris, and since it's a top-rated podcast over in England, we're going to be in London, I would love for you to email me if you're going to be around there in May. I'm going to be there in the 20s, like May 20th, 21, 22, 23, something like that. I'd have to look at my calendar. But, and we could always come in, you know, fly in another time to meet up. But if you're going to be around, I'd love to meet up with you and go to a coffee shop or something. So I'm flying into the main airport there in London and we'll be visiting with my, one of my daughters. And then, um, then we're heading over to Paris. So I don't know if we are a top rated podcast in France or not for sure in England we are, but I'd have to check France, but we are excited to go see Paris. So anyway, if you're from either of those countries, email team at styleguidesociety.com And we'll set up a meetup, talk fashion and style, and I'd love to meet you. So this week on the podcast, I wanted to talk about how our body image affects how we show up wearing our swimsuits in the summer. Too many of my clients just don't feel comfortable in a swimsuit. And they're missing out on so many opportunities with their family, with their friends, making memories. And so I wanted to focus on that today. Many women in midlife are struggling with their appearance. And this is preventing them from having fun in the summertime by going swimming or doing other water activities. I want to discuss seven ways that you can improve your body image this summer so that you can feel confident and have fun in the sun. It's important to remember that how you see yourself can have a huge impact on how you experience life in your body, in your midlife. We all come in different shapes and sizes and should strive to recognize and appreciate our bodies 
at any age and any size. First, it's important to understand why we feel the need to criticize ourselves and our bodies in the in the very first place. Oftentimes, this stems from societal pressure or certain messages we have seen throughout our lives that have told us that we are not good enough as we are. We need to actively work to counter these messages by seeking out positive depictions of people with diverse body shapes and sizes. I love how Target is being very body inclusive in their stores. They used to just have, you know, the standard mannequins in there. But if you go in there today, you will see lots of different body shapes. And just so you know, throughout history, the ideal body shape changes depending on the societal norms and what they believe is beautiful. And we all have our own unique body. It's all different. And why there is even a trend in body shapes, I just want to get rid of any of any thoughts of a body trend. For example, Was it the 2000s when everybody was getting breast augmentation, liposuction, more recently it's the butt lifts and, you know, having that teeny tiny waist. It used to be the more plump you were, the more wealth you had. And so that is what was beautiful. Also in the past, if you had a suntan, It meant that you were doing outside physical labor, so you didn't want to have the tan, and now it means that you have the leisure time to be able to go and be in the sand and vacation, especially if it's wintertime, and you have a tan. It really like makes a statement that you just, you just traveled to warmer weather. You know, I always say that winter is optional. You don't have to have winter. If you live in a state where there's snow and ice and horrible weather, you have a choice, right? You can leave. You can go on vacation. You can be gone the whole winter. Here in Arizona, we have winter visitors. So we were talking about body shapes and how different time periods, different body shapes were considered beautiful. And if your current body shape is not the current trend, I want you to know that your body is just as beautiful. If somebody has ever told you their opinion about your body that hurt you, This didn't happen in midlife, but when I was in elementary school, I remember this so clearly. I can't even, it's crazy, but I was in a new school and I had transferred schools in fifth grade to a school where my mom was teaching. And I remember I had met some really great friends and the, this girl came up to me and my new friends and she says, I heard you have a new stick in the class. She was talking about me because I had like no body shape at all. I was just straight up and down. And you know, what's kind of funny about that. When I look back, when I think back of that whole situation, she had a similar body type as me. So I'm not really sure why she wanted to call me a stick and call me names and kind of put me down and make me feel uncomfortable by approaching me and my friends. I have to tell you though, I ran for student body president in sixth grade 
and it was against me and her. <laughs> and I won. I just had to tell you that. Anyway, so sometimes people will put in our heads that is also a lie that we accept and take on about ourselves. So we have the society norms that shapes our thoughts about ourselves. We have the thoughts that other people that have told us what they think of our bodies and take that on and accept that even if it's a negative and is harmful for us. We need to actively work to counter these messages by seeking out positive depictions of people with diverse body shapes and sizes. Additionally, striving for self-acceptance can help us keep a more healthy outlook towards our physical appearance, no matter what it looks like. It's our life and our bodies get to go on all of our experiences with us and how we experience life is how we think about our bodies. Your thought about your body is making you feel a certain way. Depending on how you feel about your body, it's going to cause you to take certain actions. You're either going to put that swimsuit on because you feel confident enough or you're not going to put that swim, swimsuit on because you don't have the confidence in wearing it. You're either going to agree to go and play those water sport games or you're going to decide to stay inside and miss out on having those experiences because of the thought that you're having about your body. And I don't want you to miss out on those. Life is too short and precious for you to not be living it full out. And whether or not you want to do water sports or not is not the point. The point is making decisions and missing out because of a thought about your body. So it's important to practice self-care both mentally and physically. This can include exercising regularly, and this exercise is not geared towards having to lose weight or to get in shape or to tone or whatever. I'm not talking about that. When you exercise and take care of your body because all of our bodies need it, you're going to feel better about you. You're going to have more energy to do things because you're taking care of yourself. Maybe there's something that you know you need to do to improve your health that will help you have longevity and be healthier, have energy. That's the goal I want you to think of. Okay. Eating nutritious foods, but also taking breaks when needed and doing something enjoyable for yourself every day. It's also beneficial to take some time each day for affirmations. If you struggle telling yourself nice things about yourself. Sometimes we're in these habits of saying all these negative things that we believe about ourselves that are just simply not true. One of the things that I do when I'm coaching my clients is showing them how their brain is working and what they're believing, but it's not true. It doesn't have to be true. That might be one way you can look at it, but there's also another way that you can look at that's equally true. And it's way more fun over there. So telling yourself things that make you feel confident, powerful, and worthy, such as I am strong, or I am beautiful exactly as I am. And, you know, sometimes people people will say, oh, affirmations are woo-woo. You know what? Those negative affirmations that you're telling yourself aren't woo-woo. They're causing you to take action 
that's not serving you. It's not getting you to your goals. It's not helping you create a life you want to live. So when you tell yourself that you're strong, that you're beautiful at your current size right now, you're counteracting those negative thoughts that you are having subconsciously that are constantly in your mind because the majority of our thoughts are negative. Our bodies are designed, our brains are designed to be searching and looking for things that can hurt us. But if we let our minds run wild and believe everything that we think, we're living life on default. We're not designing a life that we truly want to live. If you have a goal, when you have a goal, you're going to have to change what you're currently doing to achieve that goal. And why do I know that? If you did the things that you needed to do to achieve that goal, you would already have it. So if you want it, you don't currently have it, you're not doing the things that you need to do to get it. I hope that's not getting too confusing. We're going on a lot of things today because our bodies are important and how we think about our bodies are important. It's affecting every decision that you make. And I want you to experience life different this summer. Too many of my clients are not wearing their swimsuits. They're not going out having fun because they're too worried about what other people think instead of making memories with their loved ones. Building relationships with individuals who will support your journey towards loving yourself is key. Connection with like-minded individuals who don't judge based on outward appearance will only further support a positive mindset about your body image. We don't want to be around people who are saying negative things about us. It's not good for our, for our mental health. Ultimately, positive psychology is key when trying to shift our mindset away from destructive thought patterns about ourselves. So start by standing tall with your shoulders back and smile, making even small changes like this, like standing with your shoulders back and smiling at yourself in the mirror. Maybe walk by the mirror and give yourself a little wink. Tell yourself something positive about yourself. Lead us down the path of self-love and appreciation of whoever we are at any size. I want to share with you really quickly. We're going to wrap this up. Seven ways to improve your body image this summer. Some of this is going to be mindset. Some of this is some action steps. Pick one that you can work on to help you live a more purposeful life this summer wearing your swimsuit. Get a new one if you have to. Okay, let's get let's get through this. Okay, number 1. Practice positive self-talk. Be mindful of the language you are using when talking about yourself to yourself or other people and replace any negative thoughts with positive ones. As soon as you notice you're saying something negative about yourself, stop yourself. Just say, that's not true. I am smart. I can figure this out. I look great in this. I have a healthy body. Find something that you can say that is true, that you believe about your body to counteract any negative thoughts that your wild mind just wants to bring to your attention. Number two, focus on all your wonderful qualities. Think about everything that makes you unique, such as your talents, skills, and passions. This will help boost your self-confidence. Number three, treat yourself with kindness. We say the rudest things to ourselves on repeat in our minds over and over again. Things we would never say to our friends, 
to our daughters, to our sisters, to our mother. Do things that make you feel good, like buying yourself a new suit or taking extra time for self-care. Buy a swimsuit cover-up that you can throw on that looks gorgeous on you while you walk out to the pool if you feel exposed in your swimsuit. I just bought like this gorgeous caftan from Amazon. I think it was like, I don't remember, $30 or something. So cute. Okay, buy buy an amazing swimsuit cover-up. Number four, stay active. Try different kinds of exercise that make you feel good both physically and mentally, like yoga or walking outdoors. Exercise releases endorphins, which can help lift your mood and give you energy. Okay. And it's also going to help with the longevity that we talked about earlier. Number five, surround yourself with people who love and accept you. Being around people who support us can help us stay positive, even when we're feeling down about ourselves. Number six, wear clothes that make you feel comfortable. Choose items of clothing that look great, but also make sure they fit correctly so they don't add unnecessary stress to your day because that does take up your mind. Okay. And finally, number seven, celebrate your progress. Focus on small accomplishments rather than focusing solely on long-term goals. Celebrate even the smallest victories along your journey towards improving your body image and enjoying your best summer ever this year. Rocking a beautiful swimsuit hanging out with your family and friends, creating beautiful memories, not choosing to stay inside, not declining the invitation, but going and living life to its fullest. Improving our body image is an ongoing journey. And there are small steps we can take each day to get closer towards feeling confident in a swimsuit this summer. Remember, practice positive self-talk. Focus on all the wonderful qualities that make up who you are. Treat yourself kindly. Stay active. Surround yourself with people who love and accept you. Wear clothes that make you comfortable. Celebrate progress along the way. With these tips in mind, I'm sure this summer, will be one filled with sunshine and lots of fun outdoor memories. All right. Until next week, think like a style icon. Bye-bye.